today we're gonna put eight minutes on the clock because what about ten minutes? What about ten minutes? We'll put ten minutes yeah. on the clock. Some dummy HTML type shit. Students are trying me today. Ten minutes yeah. have started, and we're gonna see if we can move something from a container into another container. Okay, so we'll see see if we can set something up. Very first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set up a repository. So first, I'm gonna quit out of here. Uh, CD out of here. I'm going to use Vite just because it's the easiest way for me to do this. So I'm going to do npm create Vite at latest. And we're going to call this container mover thing. Uh, we're going to do this in uh, vanilla TypeScript. And we're going to CD into container mover thing. And now we're going to open this up. And we're going to run npm install. I'm not using live server, but it should be the same ideas and concepts in here. And I am going to use a little bit of TypeScript. So deal with it. Um, it really should be mostly the same, uh, the code, other than a couple here and there kind of things. So let's go ahead, get this set up, move it to the right. And my boilerplate's going to look a little shittier. Oh, actually, I don't need the good boilerplate because it got generated for me. So I don't even need it. All right. So all I need to do is get rid of this stuff. Yada, yada, yada. Get rid of the shit I don't need. Yes, I want to delete that. Yes, I want to delete that. Yes, I want to delete that. Uh, and we should have something. So on here, I'm just going to type in npm run dev, and I should have already ran that, which means that on here, I should have localhost 5173. It should be an empty page. And on here, let's just start by having a title. So we'll do h1. This is going to be my super cool fucking app. And boom, it shows up. That means we have an app, okay? So from here, I need two containers. So what am I going to do? I'm going to have a container. And... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Uh, boop. And we'll do two of these. Um, and all we're going to do is we're going to say that a container, let's go ahead and link a style sheet. So I'm going to add uh, app.css. And in here, we're going to link uh, style sheet source app.css. Should work fine with me. And if this is linked up, then when I type in H1, my color should be red. And indeed, it worked. So that means I have a connected CSS. I'm going to need a connected JavaScript. So we'll call this app.ts. And in here, I'm just going to console.log. Hello. And that means that in my index.html, I should be able to import that. So let's go script tag. Boom. We're going to say that the source of this is going to be source app.ts. And I'm also going to defer this. And now hopefully if I look in here, it should say hello. It says hello. <clears throat> Therefore, we know it is connected. By the way, one of the things I want you all to take note of is how many little checks I'm doing along the way just to make sure that shit works. Okay. Anyways, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my CSS. We're going to say that the... I'm going to say that the body is going to be a flex box. It's going to be, it's, oh, I thought I could do that in here. Flex direction is going to be column and it's align items is going to be center. Do, 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 do. It worked in like a charm. And now we're just going to say that any container in here is going to have a width of 100%, not a width of one, 100%, a height of 500 pixels, and a border of five pixels black. And if I did that right, I should have two containers. It's a little too tall, so it's going to be hard to see what's going on. Let's go 400. Do, 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 do. That should work fine. So now the idea is we're going to have cards in each of these. So first I'm going to style the card. How am I doing on time? We're at five minutes and 40 seconds left. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my index.html and we're just going to add a card manually first. And uh, yeah, we're going to say, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll just do a div.card. We'll just call it that. And uh, we're not going to stress too much about what's in it right now. But we definitely want to give some style to a card. So I'm going to say that it's going to have a height of 100 pixels and a width of 50 pixels and a background color 
of khaki. No, we'll do gold. No, we'll do tomato. We'll do orange. Orange. Ha <laughs> ha. And I do have a card and it looks terrible because it's not wide enough. Does that look more like a card? That looks more like a card. So I also want to make sure I take these containers, set them to a flex box, set their, uh, their flex direction should be correct off the bat. I want to set a gap of like 20 pixels in there. And uh, yeah, now if I have a few cards, what will that look like? Boom, 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 boom. Looks something like that. Great. Works fine for me. The goal is each of these needs to be clickable. Oh, another thing is if they're going to be clickable, usually you want to set the cursor to pointer. And the purpose of this is now doo -doo 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 -doo, it looks like something I can click on. I could even if I wanted to do card. Maybe we'll say, hey, when you hover over this card, let's take its scale and set it to two. Is that right? Will that do it? Yeah, two is a little aggressive. We're gonna do like 1.3, 1.2. And now, now that's that looks very clickable. Would we agree? I can click on that. Okay. So now, what do we gotta do? First thing that we gotta do is when we load the page, let's add those cards in there. Or actually, I could theoretically not do that. I could just start it right now and make it to where when I click a card, it takes that card and adds it in. But in my mind, maybe we want to start this off with like an array of names for these cards. So what I'm actually going to do is we're going to we're going to actually do a little bit juicier. We're going to say that this this card is going to say John. This card's going to say Michael. This card's going to say Dibs McDibberton. OK, something like that. And we don't need to have nice. all of them here. But the idea is we should have some level of, of uh, names, in my opinion, in there. So I do want this to look slightly nicer and maybe I'm pushing it by doing this, but we're, we're gonna push it anyways. We're gonna, we're gonna do that. We're gonna say 120, uh, well, we're gonna do 200. And this is gonna be, what's 70 times two, 140? Mm -hmm. There we go. So now they're just bigger. And these will be a display flex. Justify content center align items center. And there we go. These are my beautiful cards. Okay. So now that the, the tactic here is we need to put, we need to first of all populate this from an array of names. So that's what we're going to start out with first. I'm going to go to my app and we're going to say, let's define these names. My names are John. Michael, Gibbs, Mick, Dibberton. Okay. And actually, I need to go back to John and capitalize my main name. Literally, quite literally, throw some respect on the name. Okay. Uh, I also want to hide that explorer. So, so that way I can see a little bit more code. Now, what I want to do is I want to grab. The sections. The problem is right now both containers are the same. So let's do this. Let's put a name on it. I'm just going to say that my first container is going to have an ID of all. Uh, well, here we'll say unfavorited container. And I guess this one could have an ID of favorited container, right? So from here, what I need to do is I need to make it to where I grab those containers. So first we're gonna start with that. We're gonna call this the favorite container equals document dot query selector. And in here, we're gonna grab the favorite container. Here we're gonna have my unfavorite container. And I'm gonna say if my favorite container does not exist, throw new error, cannot find favorite container, bbd do. And if my unfavorite container does not exist, throw a new error. That just takes this type from being, hey, if I look at this thing, whoops, come on. 
Come on. Show me the type. What is the type? Uh, whatever. If I were to look at the type on this, though, this would either be an element or null. Now, I know for a fact that it's an element, and I did not make it on time, but I'm just going to keep going with it. Um, so now what I need to do is populate these cards with the names. So what I'm going to do is when my document loads, so what I'm going to do is document dot add event listener. You technically could just kind of leave this floating in the, the ether um, and it will work. But uh, I like doing this so that way it's clear what happens when my page loads. So when my page loads, let's go ahead and take these names and I'm going to say for each name, I want to create a card which will take in a name that's a string and we're going to create a div. We're going to call it a card equals document dot create element. We're just going to create a div div uh, card dot class list dot add card. We just want to make sure that this thing is a card. And then we're going to say card dot inner text equals the name. Great. And then we need to return that card. And now that I've created a card here, what I could do is I'll say, hey, for each name here, we are going to say that my card equals create card name. And then we're going to say favorite container dot append that card. Okay, simple as that. And when I do this, now what we're going to see is when I refresh the page, uh-oh, we got an error. Cannot find favorite container. Ha! Huh. Look at that. Favorite tid container. See how easy that was to debug because I threw an error there? And now I'm getting the expected behavior. Now I'm adding them all into the favorited container, except for I realized that there's another bug, which is really, this is supposed to be in the unfavorite container. And also I want to make sure that I'm consistent across files. So I'm going to call, go back and I'm going to rename this to favorited container and not favorite container, because that's what I called it in the other file. And it's always worth being consistent. So if we look here now, I have too much shit. So what I'm going to do is I am going to delete all of these. And now it's all coming from my array. And the idea is whenever I click one of these cards, I want to switch what container it's in. So now what I could do is, in my mind, what I probably should do to clean this up is do something like this. All names is going to equal this. And I deliberately didn't use the rename because I want this to explode. Okay. At default, my unfavorited are going to be all my names. So, but I don't want it to be the same reference. So I'm just going to spread all my names. And my favorited, let's call this unfavorited names. My favorited names is going to equal an empty array by default. Now, of course, you can modify this with like something like local storage if you wanted to persist while refreshing, but we're not going to worry about that now. And actually we're going to re we're going to we're going to reclean up a little bit here. What I want to say is we're going to call draw names out. And when we do this, we're going to iterate both over our favorited names and our unfavorited names. So kind of like here we say names.each. Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to say unfavorited names. for each name. We're going to draw into that unfavorited container. Now before we do that, we also want to clear it. So the way that you do that is actually, there's a little hack. You could say, if you want to clear a container, you could say unfavorited container. And you could say that it's inner HTML equals an empty string. If I want to do that same thing to my favorited container, reset it, right? And now if I want to, I want to do the same logic, but this time with favorited names and my favorited container. So what this logic does do I not have favorited names? Uh, we'll say 
string array. That should do the trick. So what this logic does, and I have to call the function first, is it's going to look at whatever those arrays are, and it's going to draw them out. So for example, if I just take this favorited names, and I just add Billy, Bob, on here, you're going to see when I draw it out, now it draws my favorited in the favorited container and my unfavorited in the unfavorited container. So now what I need to do is super easy. Let's do this. All we're going to do is for each card, what we're going to do is we're going to check. This is maybe a little hacky, but it's what we're going to do. We're going to say this card, we're going to add an event listener to it. And we're going to say, hey, when you click this card, we're going to say the name equals card dot inner HTML, or actually I don't even need that because I already have the name up here. So I don't even need that. But now I could say, is it favorited? Well, I'm going to say this is if my favorited names dot includes, uh, whoops, dot includes, uh, we'll say that name. So if it does include it, then what we're going to do, we're going to say if it is favorited, we are going to say, let's take my favorited names and we are going to filter out of there. Favorited names dot filter. And we're going to get rid of for each name in favorites. We're going to return name in favorites does not equal name. And that means I have to change these to let instead of const. Easy enough. Let, let, boom. And I'll also have to say unfavorited names. And in here equals, actually, we don't even need to do this. We can do unfavorited names dot push my name, right? Else, we just kind of want to switch the logic. Do, 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 do. In here, my unfavorited names equals unfavorited name in unfavorites unfavorites and un and my favorited names. This time we're going to push the name and then we are going to have to redraw, draw names out. So all I did was change the data and redraw those containers. Make sense? So now hopefully if I did it right, boom, 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 boom. It was more than eight minutes, but we got it done. And with that, that that was with one minute to spare. Any last minute questions? Was that helpful or did I go a little too fast? It was mostly helpful. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, that's recorded. So I'll put it online so you could read it. <laughs> so that way you could, you could slow it down dramatically. I was, <laughs> I normally try not to fly like that, but since it's specifically what you requested, I figured I'd give it a shot. That was fun. <laughs> Sweet. Awesome. All right. Y'all have a great day. Happy Thursday. Toodaloo. You too, man. Later. Bye.